Welcome to Navigating Texas Workforce Commission for Musicians, an interactive panel discussion. Fridays at 1 p.m. Brought to you by the Austin Federation of Musicians and with the Unemployment Compensation Advisory Committee. The Unemployment Compensation Advisory Committee are members of the Austin Federation of Musicians, Local 433 of the American Federation of Musicians, a.k.a. the Musicians Union. Uh, some of us work as uh, contractor 1099 workers and others work as employee W-2 workers in various aspects of the music industry. The goal of this session is to share our experiences, including trials and tribulations related to the Texas Workforce Commission, or TWC, with other musicians in the state of Texas to aid in navigating the TWC application process. We are not experts in unemployment assistance. We are musicians. The information contained herein does not constitute either legal advice or an official pronouncement or a position of the Austin Federation of Musicians, but rather is only the personal opinions of the panelists. The panelists do not give legal advice or make official rulings on agency matters, should not be cited as authorities in any matter before the agency or when dealing with agency staff about a case, and must minimize their involvement with administrative processes. They also do not give legal advice on any other matter, and any information they should give should not be used as a basis for taking any employment-related action. Before taking any employment action that could adversely affect an employee or before using any sample form or policy you may obtain from this group, you should consult a licensed private sector employment law attorney of your choice. All right, welcome back. This is uh, Navigating Texas Workforce Commission for Musicians for August 14th, 2020. Uh, a year that we will certainly remember for something that we did, certainly, surely, right? Um, let's see, we always uh, kick it off with... Uh, the, the most prominent websites, we always just plug these websites um, where you can get information and the, the, the best place is, is the Texas Workforce Commission website itself, um, twc.texas.gov, um, and then Texas Workforce Commission's Facebook page, which is all one word, Texas Workforce Commission, after facebook.com, of course, um, and they, they give a, a, a weekly, I'm sorry, a, a almost Every other day, they're doing a, a, a press briefing on that Facebook page on Facebook Live. There, um, they do it every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. And uh, you you can't ask a question as an individual, but you can submit a question to a journalist who's there, um, and you can get your questions answered that way. Um, although the the chat in there is is pretty voluminous uh, and sometimes gets kind of angry, but uh, you can express yourself there too. Um, and of course, we have our our local 433 musicians unemployment information sharing page where we, we put all the links that, that we think are relevant there um, and a lot of that comes from Texas Workforce Commission but a lot of it comes from other places too um, and then we also have our COVID-19 page for the uh, the Austin Federation of Musicians the, the local union here um, and that's afm433.com slash COVID-19 um, and that's where we've kind of combined our, our most relevant uh, resources for musicians during this. Um, we're trying to keep that as short of a list as possible, but uh, if you know uh, of anything else we should have on there that we don't, please let us know, um, and uh, we'd love to have it. Um, and then the biggest one is who represents me, um, and it's wrm.capital.texas.gov, uh, and that's where you can find out who your representatives are. So, yeah. All right, joining me today are... Uh, uh, Mark and Russell, hello, gentlemen. Thank you for hello. being here again. Yeah, uh, we usually do beverages. I'm I'm doing uh, coffee once again today. How about you guys? What what are y'all drinking? Great water. <laughs> Good old green tea. Green tea, excellent, excellent, yeah. wonderful. All right. Well, yeah. So um, we we still take questions at our website, which is just ucac. Uh, at AFM433.com, and that stands for Unemployment Compensation Advisory Committee. And uh, that's what uh, these gentlemen represent, although the committee is a little bit larger, um, and uh, we're taking in input from all, all sources. Um, but you can also ask a question in the chat, um, and we, we try to keep an eye on that as we go um, on YouTube here. Um, and we don't have any questions yet, but if you have a question or a thought, please let us know. Um, and we would love to get to it. Um, let's see. Yeah. So it's going to be kind of a short episode today. There, there isn't a ton of news. 
Um, but uh, as uh, as Russell was saying before the show, there there is a little bit of city news, which is interesting, and maybe we should start with that, just the local stuff. Uh, what what were you saying about the the local city news, Russell? Sure, the the budget is out now, and it looks like there's going to be some dramatic cuts to the police department. And there is talk about moving some of that money to the arts. Which is really interesting for us, of course, obviously being in yeah. the arts. <laughs> yeah. Now, it's in the preliminary stages. We don't know how far the talks have gone, but it is at well, least the been broached. Yeah, one thing on that subject that um, does appear to be coming out, again, through the city of Austin, um, is that Similar to when Austin uh, partnered with the Music Cares Foundation, <clears throat> although this is a little bit of a different situation, it looks like starting August 17th, which is only three days from now, the city will be offering something called the Austin Creative Worker Relief Grant, oh. which uh, I'm sure you can look that up again. That's the Austin creative worker relief grant which does include musicians and arrangers and composers and uh from what i read on the austin website it looks like it would be a two thousand dollar grant mm -hmm. uh, unless you had already received a um a music cares grant a disaster relief grant which was one thousand dollars and if that was the case and you applied for a creative worker relief grant, you would only get a thousand instead of two thousand. But still, that's a good chunk of change, and probably worth going after when the August seventeenth, uh, when they open it up for applications on August seventeenth. Yeah, which is uh, that's Monday, right? Yeah, yeah. soon. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was looking like now I'm seeing that that grant is. One thousand dollars, but I thought when I first saw it, it was two thousand dollars, or maybe there's two different grants in there. There we go. Oh, I see. It's two thousand yeah, dollars. I think. If I think it. the. Uh, I think they're they're actually opening up the Music Cares disaster relief grant also, which which was open in July, and they they've reopened that one, and that one is a thousand dollars. But if you've already gotten that one, you can't get that one again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one that one opened up this past Monday, so it's there yeah. already. You can do yeah. that right now, and you should if you haven't already, for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I think what I read uh, on the new the new grant, the uh, Creative Workers Grant that you're you're referencing, um, was that if you had already received the other one, you could still receive this one, but it was only for a thousand dollars. But if you That's hadn't, right. hadn't received any of the other ones, it could be two thousand dollars, maybe. So yeah, it was half as much if you already received the music disaster relief grant. Yeah. yeah. So that that's all good news uh, inside inside Austin, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, so we want to keep keep uh, keep abreast of that situation for sure. Um, yeah, and then of course just the funding moving around is is uh, really interesting too. Because uh, yeah, I mean, we we definitely would have less crime if we had more music around, wouldn't we? That's Stan true. Stands to reason, right? <laughs> That's true. I hope so. Man, all right. Yeah. Uh, anything else uh, locally? You guys have heard about? Yeah. Um, not, Nothing else. Not too much for, for me. Yeah. Um, we. Uh, I I think I told you guys last week um, about we had the that musician who. They got a notification that their claim for unemployment was invalid, um, and I haven't heard anything new yet from that musician, um, <coughs> or the or the uh, the state senator's office. But uh, we're tracking that situation. We're hoping that's going to get resolved, and it's I, I think it has to be because uh, it's a the musician has a very similar situation to to all the other musicians that we've that we've sure. helped out and kept in, kept in touch with. So. I think there's mm. got to be a resolution forthcoming. Um, we just haven't heard what it is yet. So <laughs> I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on that because that, that was the first time I had heard that, the invalid claim. Um, yeah. yeah wow. I have not heard that either. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a trip. But, uh, um, well, so the, the, I guess the other news it really is is that the uh, the Senate, the U.S. Senate has gone home. 
uh, as of today. They're they're yep. back on vacation, which is kind of unbelievable. Um, and there's there's still no there's no resolution uh, on on uh, the uh, the the federal pandemic unemployment assistance sure. that uh, that has been cut off. Uh, what what are you guys hearing about that? Well, I'm hearing they don't come back until September. So yeah. we probably are facing the next three weeks uh, without any change to the uh, unemployment, federal unemployment package. That's it just seems like there's a bunch of posturing going on and they're willing to play this game of chicken all the way through and see who blinks, which is going to be the people. Yeah. Yeah, the people are already blinking, right? I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. 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 Oh man. Yeah. It's it's uh it's it's really a disappointment. Um, it's appalling. Yeah. Yeah. Just just very very frustrating. Um, you know, and and everybody was all excited. You know that you know the president did take some action last weekend on Saturday. You know we did those executive orders, but of course as we found out in the cold light of Monday morning, that uh, you know that the money to do those things is, is all still dependent on congressional action. There is no money to actually do what, you know, what those, sure. what those, uh, executive orders, uh, say, you know, and, and actually some of those, some of the money for the unemployment part of that had to come from the States, which would take even longer. So, or, and in some cases is just not there, you know, it doesn't even exist. So, um, yeah, so that that was that was kind of a, a disappointment. Um, you know, the kind of the idea that that at least might push things along a little a little quicker in, in Congress um, seems to have not not worked out at all. So yeah. um, so it is even more important to, to participate in those letter writing campaigns, um, the uh, the petitions, you know, to to reinstate that six hundred dollar. Um, pandemic unemployment assistance because um, people really need that and they're going to need it for September 1st when their rent is due you know right. or their mortgages are due um, have you guys heard about anything else any other things uh, that that uh, you know petitions or action campaigns uh, about that that type of thing I have not heard anything else no yeah I mean it's no. it's it's uh, you know we're seeing some of those things we're seeing um, you know voter registration things um, there, there's a, there's a voter registration campaign that where you can like send a text, and and they'll send you a voter application that's already filled out with all your information. Um, that's really easy. You can just sign it and drop it in the mail, and you can register right. really fast in Texas now. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that was an Austin thing originally, and now it works for the whole state of Texas. So that's that's a great thing. Um, Mark, you mentioned that that letter writing campaign that you were doing, um, where yeah. you, with the handwritten letters, is that still yes, happening? Yes, uh, it is definitely still happening. In fact, I did uh, twenty letters yesterday. Woo! Yeah, yeah, so I'm up to I'm up to forty, and I've actually also got a couple of a couple of my friends interested in doing that too. It it seems like a pretty valuable thing, and it you know it takes you about maybe an hour, an hour and a half to do twenty letters. Yeah. You do have to hand write them and hand address the uh, the uh, envelopes, yeah. but that's an that's an organization called VoteForward.org. Vote, VoteForward.org. Yeah. 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 We we put that in the uh, <clears throat> in the in the chat last time. What what was that? What was that uh, web address? It was like fo votes. Uh, I thought it was just VoteForward.com. I mean the uh, .org. Oh yes, but the forward is F W D. That's right. I'll put it in. Oh the, right, yeah, I'll yeah. put it in the chat again. Yes, yeah, vote, <laughs> vote F W D. Like like fast forward on your uh, on your tape deck. You guys remember tape decks? <laughs> uh, yes, only eight track. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> that they had fast forward too, didn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. All right. Well. Um, Let's see. I think that's all we've got on the docket today. Um, let's let's check the chat and see if we have any any questions from uh, from the viewers. Uh, I don't see any there. Um, anything else you guys would like to add before we before we sign off? This might be a, a pretty short episode, but that's okay. Uh, I'm good. Can't think of anything else. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for for chiming in and and participating. 
And uh, if you're watching this, um, stay in the music industry, if that's the industry that you're in, and uh, don't give up. Um, keep doing the uh, the payment requests if you're on unemployment. Keep doing the payment requests, even though the Stay money, the system, yeah, yeah the, the money w will get shorter or the money is is less now, um, but it's still it's still something. And when the federal uh, unemployment assistant goes back in, there probably will be some way to to backdate it. We think, we hope. Um, but keep doing those payment requests and yeah, stay in the system, keep current, keep reporting whatever income that you have in there so that you're, you know, you're, you're being, you know, forthright and honest, uh, with all your responses. Um, and, uh, yeah. And, uh, we will, we will make music again. Um, and, uh, yes, like I said, don't, don't give up and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye guys. Yeah. So long.